compliments of the season and welcome to back to the boat segment we'll be looking at dialogue rugby league week seven congratulations to candy to be in the top of the table unlike last year's third at the end of the first round We'll be looking at the first analysis in the game between a nail-biting Finnish Army versus Air Force. Air Force were leading 22 points to 12 by 10 points going into that halftime and Army have to do a lot of work but certainly they did dominate it. But talking about Ashan Bandara, their fly half, he had the season of his life thus far but still we need to see him developing and improving especially in terms of his decision making. Now here's the opportunity, he had numbers out wide. 4 versus 2, but as a fly half, what you have to understand is first you have to look at the numbers whether it's on your left or right. B, you have to look at the mismatch. You have a prop forward. If you send the ball out to your center, center facing the prop forward, 2. And 3, when you go down as a fly half, as a modern fly half, you have to first look at that offload option where he did not deliver on that occasion. And some missed opportunities for Army. Look at this, uh, they were struggling. But here again another knock on, bit of miscommunication and look at this inside pass, Dick Kumura tried to fend off but a great defence by Air Force player. Army could have scored another 3 tries uh, extra but uh, valiant defence from Air Force just stopped them to uh, 31 points, in fact 33 points. Uh, here's another opportunity, now Bandara, he need to coordinate, he need to understand where the gaps are, he needs to marshal. Here Army very flat, if Bandara can communicate with his scrum off and come into his left and organize his defense or uh, attack rather should have scored another try easily in that far corner. So those are the missed opportunities when army comes into the second round they need to improve but so far they were brilliant to be in the third place uh, of the points table after a long long time. And the other incident we'll be looking at that big match Havelocks versus Candy. It was not played up to the expectation by the defending champions, so as Havelock Sports Club. But the first incident uh, from Richard Dharmapala, this is really unnecessary. Giving away a yellow card in the 24th seconds of the game. You don't want it. And look at this, just a push on uh, Senal Dilaka and uh, Rukmal Fernando. If he falls on his head, it's going to be very critical. It's going to be a red card for Richard Dharmapala. But uh, again, that unnecessary incidents coming in and referee Fernando awarding him a yellow card. And the uh, Havelocks uh, leading by just three points going into that half time. But look at this skill set because so many opportunities they were missed. Especially when you play this Asian league, you need to handle this uh, pressure into account. Now, this is a lovely pickup by Senal Dias. And again, just uh, not reading the uh, mismatch once again. Here you have the uh, lovely offload coming in, lovely pickup. And lovely offload. Rahul Disciplo probably gone inside. He had the support outside, but not enough time to look at him. That's why you need the communication from your wing to talk to your ball carrier. But again, here, brilliant piece of work. And again, numbers. You see, four versus two, and a silly forward pass. You do train these passes even before the uh, match start like uh, when you come into the warm-ups you do like plenty of time and you do in million times in the training but uh, here execution is not there so Fernando clearly saying it's a forward pass another opportunity for Havelocks and here not only by Havelocks the mistakes uh, it, but this is in the early of the second half Candy putting that uh, knock on by Bunako Dangamo. Again, a miscommunication from the uh, former skipper Roshan Viratna and Bunako Dangamo. You need to have this when you, you're, especially when you're uh, national players. And one more thing in the same game now, Havelocks dominated the first half, but when you do these set moves, you need to have the communication and you need to execute them. But here, wavered pass from Dulaj Pereira. If Nigel Ratwata collects that, it's going to be a territorial advantage. It's a turnover. But uh, luckily, Lavanga Pereira playing offside. But what you have to do is, when you do this uh, decoy running, now your right winger, no communication from the centers whatsoever. You have to come to this space. If Dulaj had the communication, he's going to throw this. So it's going to be, again, three on one situation. But it didn't work for the Havelocks because lack of communication. Dulaj was trying to put that uh, dummy and go through but here if you see if Rukmal Fernando comes to this space it's going to be an easy try because Nigel is very far away from that uh, position but uh, this is why Candy are champions now looking at this they sh replied for Havelocks look at Fazil Marja inside pass to Gayan Viratna both the players going to the ground but Wilvera the wing recorder acting as the first receiver and it's uh, 
he is taking you know his uh, upper body strength he is taking both the centers and lovely offload very timely understanding by look at the numbers 1 2 3 4 it was 3 versus 2 between Wilvera and Nigel Rathwater he takes two players into the hit and a lovely offload coming to Nigel Rathwater as a result uh, Candy replied with a solid try see this is what uh, Candy is dominating the team because they are one man, one special skill is enough. We don't see Danushka Ranjan in this game, but still, looking at this win three quarter, we see we didn't see Rukmal Fernando coming in, but we saw the experienced Wilder coming in. So those are the little little things Havelocks have to improve coming into the second round. And one more incident in the same game. This is quite funny. Looking at this, uh, Buena Kodangama breaks from that scrum, and. Uh, Pass from Mushan Viratna was not perfect. It's not the first time in that game. Very ugly scenes in that game. And uh, here, if Senal Dilaka kicks the ball, could have ended up in another try. But uh, instead, he's going to that support. He's off it in front of referee Fernando. He's uh, having a word with the referee. You can't uh, do wording with the referee. But Dushman Priyadarshan, the acting captain in, uh, in the absence of Melder, he saved his man. Katawapang says to Senal Dilaka. And referee Fernando's hands almost already in the pocket. He saved him from a yellow card. So it will be, be uh, almost 14 players each if he goes into the bin. But uh, later on, as the game progresses, what we saw is both the players in the same bin. It's quite funny. So uh, that's another incident we picked up uh, on that game. So that's all we have for the Back to the Boat segment. And wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <music>